Welcome back to The Wasteland, my friends. In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the new Fallout Shelter update. And I just want you to know I am recording this video live. That way you can get my live reaction, honest opinion. If I were to voice over it, I would honestly, I just hate what I was feeling. So I wanted to make you guys understand what I truly feel about this update. Let's get into it. Fallout, the series comes to Fallout Shelter. New quest locations based on the show. Collect the Ghoul, Maximus, and more characters from the show. New themed rooms and can't tell much but those look actually badass i think those are the ones from vault 33 where they got the farm if you haven't seen the show i recommend clicking away and just watching it um if you don't want to just get ready for some spoilers because they're gonna happen inevitably new outfits weapons even a new mr handy variation so let's get into that guys let's check it all out i did want to say something do you notice that if you're a uh, Fallout Shelter veteran like myself, watch when I click this food on the left. I just now started this video. I just booted the vault up. So look at this. I just found this out. See that little... That little shine? That's something new, guys. So, um... I think that's pretty sick. I wonder if we can just go and customize... Get out of here, numb nuts. Let's see if we can customize our rooms so far. So, we'll... Let's, um... Can't, we, I don't see anything different. So everything's all the same. That's a barracks. I'm a dummy. So we check the barracks, right? We can't automatically do it. But we're also going to check the theme plan. Boom, right there. We can make both of them. I bet you we're going to get them unlocked in the quests. But uh, let's find out. Wow, I think I know which one it is, guys. It's a, get out of here. A peer into the future. So peer, like, you know, there's like, okay. <laughs> a peer into the future. Whoa, what's that? This festive waterfront has suffered a ruinous fate in some kind of ill-founded far, far crap. Fracas. I don't know what that is. Get in there and dig around. Who knows what you'll find out. Someone tell me what that is, because I'm... I got Intelligence 5. Oh, this guy's cool. This guy, this guy looks pretty... He looks like he'll be able to handle this easily, to be honest with you guys. Yes, I want to do that. Oh, sweet, guys. Check it out. There's the pier, which um, if you remember when I was first doing the review of Fallout, um, the TV show, right? I was looking at the photos inside it. We got this pier, and this is actually very close to Vault 33. I think Vault 33 is actually behind us. If we're looking straight this way, Vault 33 would be behind us. But this is the first time we see an ocean front in Fallout Shelter. So someone who's been playing this forever, is re I'm really, really, really hyped to see this. Looking at the building, it looks really cool. I like that. Pretty big build, uh, not really. All right, let's just check it out. See if there's any new rooms inside the old buildings. We'll check it out. And I'll be reading the quests, of course, for y'all. Oh, a ranger based. Ah, how you startled. Oh, you startled me. Hey there, don't shoot. We're all friendly friends here, okay? What are you doing out here? You okay? Uh, yeah, been out here for a while. If you go that way, look out for monsters. Okay. Run along now. Guys, are we oh, whoa, 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 whoa. See that, guys? That's cool, huh? Look at that. If I hold it there, we can kind of look at the city. That's cool. I really like this, that little detail. Oh, look at Protectron. We haven't seen these since the 25th anniversary update quest. Because these are, um... I mean, you can get them, like, very, very, very rarely within the, the random quests. I think I've gotten it, like, once or twice. But overall, you really don't see Protectrons that often. Hey, that's a new thing. Red Scorpions have not talked yet. Well, I mean, sh 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 is it really talking? It's more like, you know, the sound effects. But that's cool. That is a new thing that we have noticed now. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Whoa, you, you took that thing out like it was nothing. My name is Lucy. I'm just getting my bearings here, out here. I could probably use a guide, if I'm honest. Mind if I tag along? Sure, the more the merrier, but you're carrying the loot. Based. Eh, sure. Perfect. Dope. Alright, well, we got Lucy. And she's even got a backpack. That's so sick. Alrighty guys, we have returned from the quest and here we have Lucy. Starting off with 4 Strength, 7 Perception, 6 Endurance, 5 Charisma, 
6 intelligence, 5 agility, and 7 luck. Pretty great, and um, I'm unsure if these are going to be the same across every Lucy character you collect, or if they're randomized. I believe they are randomized. Let me know if you have the exact same stats as I, though. I would really appreciate that. And do these reflect Lucy in the show? I honestly, I don't think so. But um, I'd have to say her charisma is probably higher. Alrighty, let's check out her outfit. Lucy's Vault Suit. Perception 3, Endurance 3, Luck 3. We're going to test that out on someone else to see what it looks like. On a dude, of course. And a Trank Gun. 2 to 12 damage. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen something vary that much. That is an incredibly... Like... That is a very variable gun. Like, that'll... that'll tr That's whack. I don't know. I would probably never use that, to be honest with you guys. I'm going to leave it on Lucy, though. Let's check out what this outfit looks like on a dude. Pretty sick. Okay, we have to use um, Lucy's vault suit. So, we'll go unequip it and then get it. But see what's causing a ruckus in the graveyard. We got the ghoul. There's a ruckus in the nearby graveyard. Maybe someone needs your help. Or there is something useful for you to scrounge up. Just go down over there and check it out. Should we take luck, Lucy, guys? Just kidding, we're not going to do that. That'd be dumb. We'll get Mildred Book. Mm. Oh, shit. Guys, we can only use her, I think. I'm assuming we can only use someone with Lucy's Vault Suit. Alrighty, guys. You only have to use Lucy's Vault Suit, one of them. You, you don't need all three. So that's pretty cool. And let's start this course. Remember how I said I was going to record live? Yeah, I lied. Look how cool this place is. I love the vibe and the atmosphere. It's so dark and cool. And you see that degenerate right there on the cross. All way true decipher. And look how dark and despairing this place is. I really like how it looks. It's all nice and dark. Got coffins just like the scene out of the show. Let's enter this place and check it out. Here we got a new room. It's like a crypt. And I really like how the atmosphere is in here. Dark, but you can see the lights coming down from the top. And it just looks really eerie and awesome. Stop there, stranger. What are you looking for? Easy now. We're just passing through. Bull, they're after the ghoul. Smoke them. Another new room. Of course, at the crypt and dark with the water dripping effect. I really like these new rooms. They're really cool. And I hope we get to see them in other quests, not just this one. Let's see. Right here, we got another one. And this one is like a coffin. I'm imagining this is where he's going to crawl out. Not because I just played this, but um, because, you know, that looks like where a ghoul would crawl out, wouldn't it? Oh my gosh, no way you did. The way you handled them, ain't you the good Samaritan. Thanks for keeping them busy while I dug myself out of there. Was getting a uh, mite cramped. Ain't no problem. If you need a spot to hole up, we've got one. Obviously, I want this dude in my vault. He's pretty dope. I mean, not really. Not when you watch the show. I wouldn't want him in my vault. But um, he's the calmest tits. And then we can let him in our vault. And that's the quest. Super simple, already complete, but you know me, I'm going to finish this by going through every single room, including this new one, which is very cool. Right here, we got like a little locker or something, and then we got a poster on the wall from Fallout 2, I believe. It's like the brawler one, and I'll show you that right now. And here we got the ghoul up here, he just equipped his gun. That is called a mare's leg. It's a shortened lever action, and it looks so sick. Nice and clean, a lot like my gun that I actually have. I have a Marlin 4570. And that's how it reminds me of. Taking a look at the ghoul, you'll see he has his own weapon and outfit. A pretty good outfit, I'm not going to lie. It's it's not like fours, but it is pretty decent. And then he's got the mare's leg, which is 9 and 13. That's not a good gun, but I just like it because it's a mare's leg. That's just something I've always wanted. And it looks really great. And this is what the outfit looks like on a girl. Really cool. My brother's keeper. Explore the Brotherhood base. The Brotherhood has a pretty large base set up nearby. As the quasi-religious orders of militants go, they're generally not awful. Maybe we should stop in and say hi. And of course, a scene right out of the show. We come out of these little like barrack things. Really cool. They got the tower, all the stuff in the background, and... The mountain, of course, that was very prominent in the show. 
And this just looks so awesome, guys. They did a great job in bringing this into Fallout Shelter. I really like this. Got this really tall building that they were in at one point. Looks so sick, guys. This is so cool. Very big building. Jeez, we're going to have a long time to explore this. But yeah, look how cool it is. Welcome to the chapter. It's good to see outsiders in the base. The Brotherhood can be a bit closed off sometimes, but I don't think we can do our job without reaching out. Hey, have you ever tingled with a death claw? One of our uh, specimens got loose, and I don't know what to do. Do you think you could take care of it? Oof, sure, I guess we can handle it. Uh, stand back. Thank you. Here, take this. It might help. Definitely not, but thank you for nothing. Ooh, I see a new weapon. Oh, sweet. Can't believe we managed to sneak past the guards. The Brotherhood has all the best toys. Look at this! Boom! Hey, what are you? Get out of here if you know what's good for you. No way. We're not letting you scumbags get away with any Brotherhood tech. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Keep your hands to yourself and try not to get in the way. We have a lot of important work to do here. Yeah, sure, buddy. I literally just killed people that were literally below you and you couldn't hear him, you dumbass. And you had a death claw on your base. Oh my god, this is... Hey, uh, never seen you around before. Name is Maximus. Uh, I'm not really supposed to be in here. If we could keep this between us, I'd appreciate it. Your secret is safe with me. Phew. Thanks. Hey, if you ever need anything, you know who to ask. Really cool new outfit, if I must say so myself. Straight from the show, of course. It's even got, like, the pockets on the pants and, of course, the necklace. A real dope outfit, but let's get a look at this power armor. Right here we have Maximus, and he's got a Brotherhood of Steel casual outfit and a T-60 pistol, which is a really cool looking pistol, and it doesn't do too much damage, though. All Philly, no Killy. Liberate the people of Philly. You've stumbled across a slipshod settlement called Philly, offering welcome to other wastelanders. Unfortunately, it seems to be occupied by a gang of raiders who have different ideas. Check it out, folks. We're in Philly. We got the dentist and the barbershop lake area um, and some cool little buses on a bunch of crates, and you can see the stairs. Really cool. There's even a Nuka-Cola bottle sign in the background and then the plane that Maximus flies off into. Spoiler, but you should have clicked away. I did say spoilers. And then there's a cool house right there. On the other side, though, it is the exact same thing, just reversed. Hey, you ain't from around here. Hope you like the taste of lead. Guys, this is a PSA to not taste lead. It gives you lead poisoning. And I hope they like the taste of laser and bullets and death because they're dead. We've got a little bit of a raider problem at the moment. You look like you could handle yourself. You think you could oust them for our little slice of heaven here? That's awful. I will do whatever I can. Those raiders have it coming. Oh, thanks. You're good people. Go get them. I'm gonna run off like a coward. Okay, cool. Let's uh, murder all the ops. Here's a neat little room I thought I'd show you guys right before I destroy these ops. Boom. Here's another one full of soon-to-be-dead raiders. Looks like you managed to take care of them all. Welcome to Philly. I look out for this place. People call me Ma June. I've never seen a vault before. I think I might stop by. Okay, that was my best impression for her. And I should win an Oscar for that, I ain't gonna lie. And we're done with the quest. Ma June, and she's got some mid stuff. Ma June jacket and a hunting rifle with five to seven damage. Completely useless, get rid of that. And I'm gonna play dress up real quick. I'm gonna put on her jacket, see what it looks like on a dude. If we even can, do you think we can? We can. Ah, uh, hi, I'm Waste Lord. And uh, what the hell is this outfit? That was probably the best impression I've done all night. Guys, thank you so much for watching. That was probably my best impression all night. Guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. Of course, there's going to be a part two where I continue the next four quests in this series. If you want to see it, all you got to do is subscribe and hit that bell. I'm going to be recording it. I just wanted to break it down because they are very long videos. So if you want to watch it, you know where to find it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you watch this show, let me know what you think about it down in the comments. If you've already done this quest, don't spoil it for anyone. And thank you all so much for watching. May the wasteland treat you with peace and prosperity. And a little shout out to Marine with a mouth. This photo is so sick, guys. And I'm actually holding the assault rifle from Fallout 3 and the one in Fallout Shelter. You just can't really tell. But I am holding that exact assault rifle from Fallout 3 and Shelter.